So I'm Major Richie Sands, I'm the Battalion Commander of the 1st Battalion, 182nd Field Artillery Regiment. I'm uh, Command Sergeant Major James Robbins with the 1st Battalion, 182nd Field Artillery Regiment. Uh, we, we have uh, four units. Our headquarters, Alpha Battery and FSC, are located out of the Detroit Olympia Armory. And then our Bravo Battery is up in Bay City Armory. So we operate the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or the HIMARS. It's a long-range precision weapon system that we provide deep fires to support uh, maneuver commanders in their fight against the enemy. So what we've been plant training for the last 12 days, annual training, has been to provide that rocket fire or missile fire uh, by stressing the soldiers eight days in the field, doing 24 operations, uh, ensuring that they have their competencies and skills to deploy if, if we're required to. Behind me is the, the high Mars, um, uh, and, and with it, uh, it's uh, a very versatile piece of equipment. Um, as you see, you know, it's, it's mobile now, it's on wheels. Uh, it used to be a very heavy tracked vehicle, but now it's, it's an air asset. Um, and inside of it, uh, it will have pods, and each pod holds six rockets, and the munitions vary um, for the, the strike that we need to do. My name is Lieutenant Fiveco. I'm with Alpha Battery, 182nd. Uh, we are located in Detroit, Michigan. We're up here at Grant, Camp Grayling right now. Uh, conducting our live fire exercises for the year. As we start looking towards our near peer threats uh, and moving away from kind of the, uh, uh, the threat of the terrorist organizations in the Middle East, what we're looking for, two big things, are maneuverability and uh, agility. The uh, predecessor, the MLRS, is a uh, track-based vehicle. Our platform is wheel-based. Wheel they were designed specifically to fit into the back of a C-130 aircraft, uh, which means that we can deploy on the aircraft and conduct what we call high rain missions, where the aircraft will take off with a launcher in the back that has a fire mission ready to be processed. We can land, the launcher can roll off of the back of the aircraft, conduct its fire mission, and then get back on and uh, safely exit the area. Predominantly in the battalion, we have uh, 13 Mike which is the MOS that actually operates the HIMAR system. Uh, 13 Juliet, which is the direction center. They're actually the ones that control the fires. And then we have a host of support MOSs. Uh, they're very critical to us. Everything from communications, uh, logistics, sustainment, cooks, uh, administrative. Uh, and they have a broad range of background experiences on the civilian side. We have a lot of soldiers at our school that take advantage of all the, the benefits the Michigan National Guard has to offer. We have a lot of soldiers that uh, actually do things that are completely different 
from their military job, uh, from working on you know uh, land network systems. Uh, we have a lot that work for consumers. You know, we have builders, we have bankers, we have lawyers, and they all come in and they want to do an MOS where they can be in the combat arms profession uh, and do something a little bit different than on their civilian side. We're truly blessed to be able to have this capability. Uh, it is the, the most lethal system in the artillery that the United States Army has. Uh, it's been proven uh, recently. Our battalion deployed in 2015 and 2016 into Iraq, and we're providing fires against ISIS. And that's what we're, we're here trained for. We're trained to, if we have to mobilize again, uh, that our soldiers have those skills and the experience required where we can provide those fires as well.